Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am running a little late today. Holy cow, right? It's 7.30 instead of 5.30, 6.30. But I have to tell you, I really do appreciate the fact that I am continuing to be flexible on this time and you're being flexible with me. I really appreciate that. One of the things that I don't want to do with this daily Facebook Live is schedule myself. I have a whole schedule that I have to keep meeting deadlines. And uh, adding this to my plate every day and the flexibility makes it easy. So, thank you very much. Hi, Mary Lynn. I just got off the phone. I was video chatting with Mary Lynn and I said, I hate to cut you short, but I am on Facebook Live in one minute. <laughs> Hello, Tundra, Lori, Lisa, Lynn. Who else did I see come in here? I've got Kay on, Terry, Sharon, whole bunch of people popping in. Mindy's here, Jane. If I missed anybody, I'm a I'm sorry. Connie's here, Linda. Yeah, it seems like it's cold all over the country today. It's very cold here in Menasha, Wisconsin. My mom got hammered with some more snow today, too. She lives right in the middle of the state. Hi, Kim. Hi, Sarah. Ruth is here. So today was kind of funny, you guys. Um, Haley came over. I've been working on editing and uploading videos to YouTube. I want to say all day, but that would be a lie. I'll, I'll tell you about that in a minute. All morning. How about we go all morning? Um, I have, well, let's see, 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 videos that I have to get done for my online class, the Ornate Garden class. And I have all the videos made. I have all the cards made. Um, I need to type up instructions for most of them. I have all the photographs taken, but I've been uploading, editing and uploading videos all day. No, not all day, all morning. Let's be clear, I am not a liar. <laughs> So I was doing that all morning. Haley came over a little bit late. Like, I don't know what time she got here. 11, 10.30, 10.30 maybe. Uh, between 10.30 and 11. And she started working on her scrapbook page, which by the way is looking fantastic, but it is not done because we had a slight in intermission today. And no, she did not have the baby. I'm not going to tease you guys like that. But um, we were hungry and she... She wanted me to get some lunch and we have been supporting our local economy with lunch once or twice a week. <clears throat> Since I can't go out to lunch, I order out lunch and we had a heck of a time finding anything open today that we wanted to get. Hi Haley. And so I spent probably at least a half an hour calling different places. So I bring a menu up on my on my laptop and then I take it around to her and Steve. We'd all pick out what we wanted to eat. Oh, she got here around noon. We all pick out what we wanted to eat and then I call them up to place my order and they weren't open. So it's like, are you kidding me right now? So it took us forever to find some place that was open. We finally settled on Uno's and um, Haley had a pizza. And she goes, ooh, doesn't that look good? And I'm like, no, it looks horrible. It's got cheese on it. Like, it pains me greatly that that's all you'll eat on your pizza is cheese. <laughs> but that's her deal. I had a crispy chicken salad, and Steve had chicken tenders and french fries. And, you know, after I eat, I, like, go into a food coma. I could be so super tired that if I put my head down on my desk, I could literally fall asleep. And I don't know what that's all about. That's just come about like maybe in the last year or so where when I get done with a meal, I like, I could go right to sleep. It's horrible. It's not that horrible. I mean, there's worse things, but it, it makes me super tired. So when we got done eating, Haley's like, I might feel like a nap. And I'm like, ooh, you're going to take a nap? I'll go take a nap. Well, Steve was already in the living room, in the recliner. So he was kind of nappy. So me and Haley went in the living room, and we each took our spots. And I slept until 3 o'clock. No, no, no. That's not right. I slept until 6. So it was probably around 3, 2.33 o'clock when we went in the living room. Don't you figure, Haley, it was about 2.33 o'clock? And then I didn't wake up till 6 o'clock. 
So I did hear Steve's phone ring and Molly Jo called him. It was the cutest thing ever. She just misses him something terrible because they're like buds. And um, Molly called and he's like, well, I'll bring you. I don't remember what he said he'd bring her and he'd, he'd drop it off for her or something. And, and she was just so cute. But I'm laying in the recliner sleeping. You know, and you like to think that you're really cute sleeping. Like you like to think that you look like so cute when you're sleeping when the when the reality of it is you're like and I know this because my family will take pictures of me when I'm like that <laughs> and then they put them on snapchat and don't worry I'm not I'm not terribly upset because they don't like send it out on their snapchat story they just send it to each other so um Steve will take a picture and send it to Haley and Stephanie and um Anna and, and that's fine it's pretty funny or when I'm on an airplane, they always manage to take a picture. If you guys followed me last year when we were in Greece for our Stampin' Up! incentive trip, I fell asleep on the bus, a tour bus, when we were like, I don't know, in Rome or some. No, we were in Greece. I don't know where. Yeah, I think we went to Rome. Who knows? Anyways, I fell asleep on a tour bus, and Anna took a picture of me. Like, she can sleep anywhere. That's what she said. <laughs> Haley said she almost took a picture of me today. Don't do it. But yes, you like to sleep, you, you like to think that you're all cute when you're sleeping and you're like, mm, so peaceful, but you're not. You're like, <laughs> it's not attractive. <laughs> Tanya says her girls do the same thing to her. Oh my gosh, right? It's like, that is the last thing I want to see. Come on. So anyways, back to my little story. I slept until six o'clock and I like, <laughs> Lisa remembers the picture from when we were on the Greece trip. I know. It was so funny. I'm like, Anna? <laughs> but it was really cute. And yes, I can. Kelly McCauley, she says, you can sleep anywhere. I totally can. Like I said, when I got done eating, I could put my head down on the table and fall asleep. I fell asleep on the floor of a convention center at a Stampin' Up! convention once. And I told one of my downline that was with me, Nikki, I said, oh my gosh, if I start snoring, please, like, wake me up. And she didn't. She videotaped it. <laughs> my friends are fun like that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, some of, the, some of the shenanigans that go on, right? So, a um, couple announcements. Hunting is closed until October 1st in Washington. Oh, Jenna, that's interesting. What do you guys hunt this time of year or between now and then? Like... I don't know what kind of hunting we have. I, I, th I don't know if coyote hunting is still going on right now in Wisconsin. I'm not a coyote hunter. I know bobcat hunting is probably over because they do that in the snow. Jenna, what do you hunt? <laughs> Haley just said, I literally just had a conversation with Jared 10 minutes ago about how loud of a mouth breather you are. He told me I am too. <laughs> Like mother, like daughter. Oh my goodness. So we were all flaked out in the living room today. It was a hoot. And I feel like a million bucks. Like I probably will not go to sleep now till three or four in the morning. And that's what happens. So, oh, somebody just said, my brother used to record my mom snoring. Deb said that. So my mom can be sitting on the couch and you can be having a conversation with her. And all of a sudden she doesn't answer. And you'll look over and she'll be like this. So like, that's where I get it from. And Haley will videotape her. And she'll be sitting there like this. And it's so funny. Yeah, we're kind of mean like that. But we don't do anything with the videotapes. We don't like post them on Facebook or anything like that. That would make me not happy. But, um, and the picture that Anna took of me sleeping on a bus, it was it was a fairly decent picture. It wasn't all like... I wasn't like drooling or anything, but my husband likes to make fun of me. We had some things happen today. First of all, the clearance rack was updated. If you guys missed that, when you get done watching me, don't leave me now. God, please stay with me. <laughs> um, the clearance rack was updated. I do have a post on my Facebook page right here with a link to the store where you can take a look at everything on the clearance rack. Man, there are some amazing things on there. And one thing that's kind of funny is I went over there and I started doing, I just started doing a little math on one of the numbers that looked like it was more than 50% off because I can do that math in my head. And um, I found that it was 60% off. So at least 60% off on some items. A lot of them are 50% off. It could be more, but math is hard and I'm way too pretty for math. 
So I didn't add any other numbers. <laughs> Lisa says she placed her order. And that's one of my friend Dina's assistant's favorite sayings. I'm too pretty for math. <laughs> I always giggle when I hear it. So, um, oh my gosh, Deb says that her brother would play back the recording and wake her mom up. <laughs> that's always fun. <laughs> And Lisa said she got the skate die that goes with that skate set that um, my one of my t our team members, Patty Skiba, made a beautiful card with the skate set. So that's on the clearance rack. Printed paper is 60% off. Thank you, Jenna. Um, yeah, there's some really, really good deals in there. Some of our holiday mini catalog stuff is now on sale. So I highly recommend you check that out after we're done here. Let's be clear. <laughs> you can do what you want. And then... Our dies, um, the dies that were on back order, like our birthday bonanza and the garden gate dies and the um, poppy dies and all the dies that are on back order right now, they were expected to be in our warehouse this week, the week of April 13th. As of this morning, that date has changed to next week. We are experiencing some delays due to the whole coronavirus thing and all the things. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking, wow, if we get them in just one week after they were expected, we're going to be pretty happy about that, right? Jude says, quick question. Why can't I order the Painted Poppy Suite as a demonstrator, but I can as a regular customer? Um, I don't think you can order it as a regular customer. I think it's going to tell you that it's not available, Judy. I'm pretty sure. And I'm not sure if you go by Judith or Judy, but um, Poppy, let's see. I'm going to go look at it right now. See if I can find it. Um, poppies, ornate garden. Oh my lord, what is that even called? Um, peaceful poppies, maybe. I'm trying to find the whole suite. That's a bundle. Yeah, see, the suite isn't even coming up on my screen. Here it is. Okay, let me see. Here's the English English version. Wow. This says low inventory order soon to ensure timely delivery. Um, it let me add it to a shopping bag. Item code 153938. 153. Three nine three eight. Okay, sorry for the delay, you guys, but this really has me stumped, and I want to get to the bottom of this. One five three nine three eight, and that'll give you guys more time to get on here. One five three nine three eight. Is that the number I just said? Because I can't remember Jack anything. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. But, Judy, you could order it on um, an online order like a customer. I'll have to find out why that's happening. And Stampin' Up! will deposit your discount on Wednesday in your checking account. That's how it works. So, um, Because it would seem like if you order it that way, you're a customer and then you get the money put in your account. And this is actually a question for our team Facebook page. This is my customer page. So we're going to keep going here. Um, the other thing, <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know what I was going to say. Anyways, I have a little bit of mail to share with you. And you guys, these cards are just so adorable. I got a beautiful little card from Marie from Conroe, Texas. And this uses the paper pumpkin kit. Is that not stinking adorable? I just love... This little die goes right over the girl's legs. So she's like wearing the boots. And it says, you are capable of amazing things. And Marie says, no matter the weather, we're in this together. Thank you so much for doing what you do for us. Thanks again. And you are welcome. And thank you for this adorable card, Marie. I loved that monthly kit. Now, um, there's something going on with Paper Pumpkin in May. It's going to, I think, feature the new in colors that are coming out in our annual catalog that comes out in June. So let me look at that for just a second. Yeah, introducing Paper Pumpkins, a kit in color. So if you're not a Paper Pumpkin customer and you wanna see those colors firsthand, 
make sure that you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. It's pretty cool. Okay. This card came from one of my team members, Dee Dee Tibke. She is in Prescott Valley, Arizona. Wait for the cuteness factor on this. Oh my gosh. She put the meerkats in the boots. She always makes the most beautiful cards. I just love her cards. And look at when you open it up. There we go. Isn't that cute? I love how she stamped the little weedy things down here. Some light gray clouds. Yeah, super, super cute. She put a note on it that says, stay, stay safe. Thank you for all you do and for being awesome. Thank you, Dee Dee. I love this. It is just the colors are pretty. The little meerkats are adorable. The boots, the flowers. Oh, love it. All right. And I am going to... Oh, she stamped her envelope here. She gave me an envelope. She put her note on a post-it note so that I would be able to use this card. So maybe one of you lucky people that order from me, you might get this. Yeah. I might keep it too because it's really cute. Then, <clears throat> you guys remember, um, I got the amazing ladybug card from Marilyn Purin. Perrin. I hope I'm saying that right. I know I'm probably slaughtering it. Okay. She also had sent a card along for Haley, but I was going to wait for Haley to get here today to open it. And are you guys ready to see this? It's the bomb. Yeah. Look at that. Is that not cute? Those flowers are, um, are, uh, dazzling detail shimmer paper. And then the green vellum leaves, one of our little die sets and wait for it. This little flower is holding this flap closed, so it tucks under there. Like, I am, like, picking this apart. I didn't pick it apart, but looking at all the super good details. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. Oh, my gosh. It says, welcome, little one. Congratulations, Haley and Jared from Marilyn Pirin, Pirin, Prince George, British Columbia, Canada. Oh my gosh, is that not the cutest thing ever? So who would like to learn how to make this? I'm thinking it's going to be in your future. I wanted to pull this off for today, but <clears throat> I know I needed to put a little more time into this than the project that I actually am doing for today, which is cool too. Don't get me wrong, but I need to think about this a little bit. I think this would be beautiful with the ornate garden paper. What? Yeah, so... I'm gonna put this right on my desk. We'll see if we can recreate that. I've had a lot of fun folds lately. What did I do with that other one? Oh, I've got the other one that I wanna show you right down here. And this one was from Cindy that opens three times. Boom, boom. Yeah, oh my goodness. So I'll put those right up here. Okay, we have a winner from yesterday. And Karen wants to make Haley's kangaroo card. I know, I do too. I'm telling you, it's super cute. And you know, it's all about the paper that you pick. So I think that you could use this with a variety of different stamp sets. It doesn't have to be a baby card. Haley and I actually talked about it today. So I'm kind of excited to create something with it. I have a pack of the color doilies and our winner from yesterday for leaving a comment and I know she's watching tonight is Barbara Comfort from Tura, Montana. These are going to be coming your way, and congratulations, Barbara. Make sure to share this video if you're on Facebook right now. If you're watching later on the upload to YouTube, you can share the video. Also, give me a thumbs up. That really helps me in the analytics behind all the internet magic, and I certainly appreciate it. Who is ready to stamp? I am ready to stamp. I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cute, fun fold, and then I have to continue on with my videos tonight. What else do I have to do? Oh, having a team meeting with Zoom, and I need to buy an account, so um, I need to do that. And I see Kelly said she tagged me for a fun fold. Thank you, Kelly. I always appreciate that. Oh, Verna said she tried ordering the Poppy bundles as a customer, and it won't go in. Yeah, that's what I thought too, is that that will not work. I'm pretty sure that you can't order the bundle. You can order the other things, but just not the thing that is on back order. So thanks for telling me that. I appreciate it. Okay. Whoops. Hang on. My computer just got unplugged. 
I am going to get you guys up on my screen here because I kind of walked away from that. I'm live. I'm live here someplace. And now it's loading slow. And it shut off again today. But when I touch it, it turns back on. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm sure it'll fail me soon. Oh, I'm not even live on the screen. I know I'm live. Yeah, Karen says fun folds are so much fun. They're like my favorite. I love techniques, but I also love fun folds. And my, the thing that I love is like I can grab a card, like this, this beautiful card with this fun fold and make it with other paper and other stamp sets. Like I enjoy that challenge of doing that. I probably would never come up with this fun fold myself because I'm just not, that's not my thing to create fun folds like the people who have the the um, incredible ability to do that but I can take a fun fold and make it something else and I love that oh love the tulip cross box behind me yeah this was from Wendy Sue she's one of my team members and isn't that just the best and those are all on little slips of paper yeah she did a great job on this okay Let's find my live, and here it is, and I'm going to pop my screen up so I can turn you guys around and make some cards. Are you ready to make some cards? Oh, you know what? I think I forgot to grab my designer paper that I need to show you, so hang on while I grab my... This is my whole pile of all these sample papers. I have a lot of people asking me for these, and... Um, Wondering if I have an updated version with the Ornate Garden. I do not. And that's not something that I really plan to do. Maybe I'll reconsider that in the future. But on my blog is a place for you to go look. Or to go get a download that has the current papers on it. Or maybe it was the holiday mini catalog papers. But I have a whole video that shows you exactly how to make these yourself. And all you do is go to whatever document or software that you use to type a letter. Um, and you just put the name of the paper at the bottom and the coordinating colors. And then you print out a blank sheet with this just at the bottom. So it's just a whole... Oh, I have some here, actually, that I haven't um, made yet. Let me... Maybe. Hang on. So I can show you a blank one. Here it is. You just print out a sheet with the information on the bottom. This is just white cardstock. And then you take the squares, you cut all the squares of the designer paper pack two by two. These are one inch circle punches and you glue them on a page. And I really do use these. I'll pull this out like today I was creating with this paper and I pulled this out and I'm like, ooh, what are my coordinating colors that I want to use for this card? And that's how I determine what I'm going to work with. So for those of you that are looking for updated sheets with like the ornate garden paper, Type it up yourself. I'm the stamper. I'm not the keeper of administrative documents. <laughs> and that's not to say that I probably won't do that. Make another file for the um, new catalog when it comes out in June. I'll probably make another file and post it on my blog. But um, for right now, you can, you can type this up. And then people ask me, what font did I use? Just pick one you like. It doesn't matter. I think this is called candy something or another, but I again I don't re I don't remember, and those are just things that I can't keep in my brain. But if you need, um, if you go to my YouTube channel, look for Kelly Atchison, then click on videos, and you're gonna see this sheet on the cover photo. Scroll down until you see the video, and you'll find it. So yeah, no, these are not. These are actually two by two inch pieces. Of designer series paper and these are actually cardstock that I punched out with the one inch circle punch so I completely made all of these they're not printouts that would kind of be um, a copyright infringement we're not supposed to copy these papers that's never a good idea but yeah and Terry asked would you ever consider making a PDF of it and I have for the last um, holiday mini catalog it's there is a PDF if you go find the video and underneath the video is um, see more. When you click on that, it opens up all my links. There's a link right to my blog where I have the PDF listed right on there. How do I store my DSP index sheets? Do you want to see my mess over here? I'll, I'll show you. Do you see right down here? They're just stacked right there. <laughs> you know I'm not great with the organizational skills. 
I'm not fancy like that. I just throw them down there because I grab them all the time. Um, that's how I store them. You could put them in a three ring binder if you want to be really fancy <laughs> and put them in, um, you know, the sleeves to keep them all nice and wonderful. But let's face it, for me as a demonstrator, when this sheet, um, when this catalog is, is done at, in May, the end of the end of May, I won't need this sheet anymore because I won't be using this paper anymore. But you, maybe as a discount shopper or a customer, will definitely want to keep yours. So I don't do anything special with these. They're um, they're disposable to me, but they shouldn't be to you. So yeah, that's what I do. Oh, I'll keep this up here. Okay, I think we're ready to flip. Somebody just said something. Only problem we can't put in new names of the new DSP, Terry. The video that I showed you shows you how to hit enter, 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 enter until you get to the bottom of a blank page and type in the name and the colors. It's not meant for you to copy over. It's meant to show you how to do it. So you just open up a new page in like Word. Um, I have a Mac, so I have the program called Pages. And you just enter, 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 enter until you get to the bottom of a page and you type in the name of the um, designer series paper, type in the colors, and you print it out. So it's meant to it's meant for you to make any that you might need on your own. Like you might have older paper that you want to make these sheets up for too. So I showed you how to do it. I didn't give you a template for you to do all of them. Um, I can't do that on my blog because a PDF file is you can't change it. It's um, locked in stone, and I can't upload other types of files to my blog. So, but you can certainly make one yourself. Okay. We're ready to flip. Hang tight, you guys. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. We are going to get down here on the surface. And I've got my phone plugged in. Whoops, hang on. My thing's getting in the way here. Put my cord up here. Oh, I feel a hot flash coming on. My might be too much information. There we go. Are we good now? Are we straight? I think we're good. We're ready to roll. Okay, so since I was playing with this paper the other day, I really wanted to do some more things with it. And I actually wanted to do way more with the card that I'm making tonight in several different colors, but I got two. So I'll show you two of them. You'll get a good idea of what these look like. Um, if you remember, we used, hang on, I'm grabbing it right now. I don't know where my envelope went, but we made this card the other day with this blue paper and holy cow, it's a gift card holder. This is so, so pretty with the silver and white, right? It's just striking. I love this one. So I decided I wanted to do some more things with this paper and I went through my stamp sets until I found a greeting that would fit. So I wasn't necessarily looking at what the greeting says right away. I was looking for sizes that will fit in my two inch circle punch because that's what I need to use with this card. So I ran across my beautiful U stamp set. I haven't used this in a while, but it, it's a fabulous stamp set. It comes in two cases. There's 13 different stamps and it's good for so many things. Life may not be the party we had hoped for, but while we're here, we might as well dance. I love that. Life looks beautiful on you. Wishing you brighter days to come. Live with passion. Laugh out loud. Love deeply. So happy for you. Happy birthday. Gorgeous and in style. And then these little squiggles actually paint on um, the dresses of these ladies. One of my favorite stamp sets. This has been around for a little while. But what I decided to grab was the wishing you brighter days to come. And I really love the font. I love the funky fonts on these. So this is why I picked out this set. It's just for this greeting. And I thought this is so appropriate right now to be making cards to send off to friends and family that are isolated and feeling alone. Um, just to let you um let them know that you're thinking about them. Hang on, because my computer screen is not working. Oh, my Lord. Okay. <laughs> my mouse is not working. I'm not sure what's going on. And Megan is asking, how is Haley feeling? Haley is getting ready any day. I can see it every day she comes over here. She's just a little bit more uncomfortable. Um, can I tell them about what you told me today, Haley? I'm going to tell them. We're transparent. 
The bras aren't fitting anymore. They're pinching into her ribs. She hates them. She went home today. I was going to give her a couple that I thought might work for her, but we'll have to do that tomorrow, honey. But um, she's feeling a little more uncomfortable every day, so I know she's getting really close. We're excited. I wish you could see my face right now because I'm doing this. Um, okay, back to our card. So I'm going to do the navy one first, and this is a card. This is a layout that I've shared with you before, but I just thought I'd bring it back in here because it's a quick and easy card with a great big wow factor. So the first thing we're going to do, <clears throat> and I will have all the dimensions for you so that you can recreate this with ease. I am going to bring in my Knight of Navy stamp set. I mean, ink pad. Holy cow. Yeah. And hi, Sam. Glad to see you here. Sam is my Stampin' Up! demonstrator friend from San Diego. Yeah. And Helen says we're all excited. We can't wait for Weedly to arrive. Me too. I'm really excited. Okay, so Knight of Navy ink. I've just got a Whisper White scrap here, and I'm bringing in my good old two-inch circle punch. I'm going to punch out my greeting more towards the bottom of that. And then we are going to use our Starburst Punch. And the cool thing about this is that you can, this is going to be one of our layers for the card, and you can punch it right out of the middle of that layer. And we'll talk about those in just a minute. So look at, I have ink on my fingers already. Hang on. That's why Huggies makes baby wipes, right? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I told Haley the other day. When she was a baby, Huggies diapers were the best diapers on the market, and I loved them, and that's what she got. And it doesn't help, or I mean, and it helps that Huggies is a Kimberly Clark product, and those diapers are made right here in our area because we have the, I think the Kimberly Clark World Headquarters are here. It used to be the World Headquarters. I'm not sure about that anymore, but I knew people who worked at the diaper plant making diapers and all kinds of other things. And oh my goodness, Kyle wants to go outside. Can you hear him meowing? Yeah, the only way you're getting out is if Steve comes in. So not going to happen right now, buddy. All right, we're going to close this up. We're done with this. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer because we have a little bit of scoring to do. You're going to need a two and three quarters by 11 inch piece of, this is Knight of Navy. And we're gonna score that at five and a half. Let me move that so I don't ruin my cardstock. You guys ever like throw this off to the side and ruin a piece of cardstock or the front of a card? I've done that so many times, it's so maddening. So we've got this scored and we're gonna fold that. Then, bone folder right here. Comes my bone folder. And I think I'm going to need some dimensionals, so I'm going to grab those two. I've got my baby dimensionals and my big dimensionals here. Okay. The other thing I did was I took a scrap. Where did those dies go? I pulled out my Sweet Silhouettes. I want to make sure that's the right name of these. Sweet Silhouettes dies. And here is... The die cutting card. This is fabulous. Haley actually used this on one of her scrapbook pages for her wedding. So lots of great, three, three great words in here. And then I love, love, love the tree and the dandelion, right? So I took some Daffodil Delight and I cut out the dandelion here. And again, these are called Sweet Silhouettes dies. And wait a second while I get Kyle out of my room. Sorry, buddy. He went running. He went running down the hallway because he thought I was going to let him outside. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do. We've got, this is the backing of our card. It's Daffodil Delight. It is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we're going to have a piece of Knight of Navy. And this is four by five and a quarter. that on here. Hang on. I see that my edge here is a little ratty. Let me attempt to trim that off the cut without wrecking it. Let's see if I can accomplish it. There we go. Okay. I don't like that when um, I kind of messed it up. All right. Next, 
we are going to put on a piece of this designer series paper and oh my gosh is that not absolutely gorgeous I love it so I have to decide which piece I want I think I want this in the background so I'll put this in the background and we're gonna just glue that on here and this is three and three quarters by five so everything is just a quarter inch smaller here and then we're going to take this piece and add it right to the front. First we're going to decorate it a little bit. So now I'm going to use this side. Um, I've got this for the inside and this is just another layer. So this piece right here is, hang on let me think about this. This is two and a half by five and a quarter and then our designer series paper is two and a quarter by five. So again, just quarter inches smaller. This was two and three quarters by 11, scored at five and a half. That makes this, let me think a little bit, that makes this two and a half by five and a quarter, two and a quarter by five. So just a quarter inch smaller on each one of these. And we're just gonna glue these in place. And of course you can use any designer series paper for this and then just use the coordinating colors. I went to my little cheat sheet that showed me what the coordinating colors were. And of course it's on the back of all of the designer series paper packs from Stampin' Up! to you guys. So that's where I'm getting those from. And chose my colors. That's how I did it. Then we've got this piece right here. And I think I want, I've got a three quarter inch piece of designer series paper and I think I want to use this side of it, so I'm just going to add some glue here. This is on our white layer, and our white layer is two and a half by five and a quarter. It's the same as the yellow layer on the front. There we go. Oh, I actually cut that pretty darn good, too. You know I usually let it run over a little bit. Whoops. Just a tiny little shave off of there. This is going to go on the inside of our card. <clears throat> and using our designer series paper makes this type of a card super easy because you just pick the coordinating colors. And of course we have them, right? Because why wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, this is going to go right over here. Again, this card looks so substantial, but it's very, get your pieces cut out and then just go to town. You can make up a ton of these. I'm going to put this, I have no fingernails, I'm going to put this right over here. And instead of like looping that panel around the back, it's just right here in the front like this. Isn't that cool? What do you guys think? I love this. Awesome. Okay, here comes this one. And now I'm going to put this right over here. And that white just really pops could actually have used the yellow for this layer that might have make it made might have made it pop a little better but it's okay I'm just gonna take and put glue on the left side of the back right here leave this pop over just a little bit and then I'm gonna take a mini dimensional on my dandelion add that right here I'm gonna put a tiny bit of glue on my stem. I just don't want it to get like bent, torn off, whatever. Teeny weeny little bit. Now I'm gonna bring this in. Yeah, this was all in my head. I haven't actually made this card yet. So I made a card with this layout, but not with this paper and the dandelion. And I do love how that turned out. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I knew this was gonna be really quick and easy tonight, you guys, and I didn't want to disappoint you. So I've got another one that's ready to roll here. I decided to grab some of the different paper in different colors. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to, again, stamp the sentiment, and any sentiment will work. Get that cleaned off. I'm gonna grab Memento Black for this one. I'm going to stamp my words. Oh, see, I've got some ink on my fingers again. <laughs> Thank goodness it's up there, right? Can you see that? Oh, I hate it when that happens. I'm going to do the same thing. Punch it out so that it's down near the bottom. 
And then we are just going to assemble this card. So I've already punched this black out. Where's my white? Here's my white piece for the inside. I'm going to put that on last because I couldn't decide what to do with it. The colors that I chose are Poppy Parade, Basic Black, and then this, this paper, this is for the front, okay? And then this is different paper for the inside because I really liked the way this matched this rather than just the red. So that's what I, that's what I chose. So we're just going to glue all of these together. Here we go. And then the Poppy Parade. I considered using pumpkin pie, which isn't even, oh yeah, it is. I'm like, it isn't even one of the coordinating colors, but it certainly is. I missed it. So I was looking at what colors coordinate with this and I didn't see the pumpkin pie on there, but I was considering using pumpkin pie instead of the poppy parade, you know, whatever. Um, either one will work. Then I've already scored this at five and a half. This is just basic black. So I'm going to take this and add, ooh, I got a black layer here. That shouldn't be black. That needs to be poppy, hang on. I'm going to get that going here. That's the panel. This piece is two and a half by five and a quarter. So let me get a piece cut. Here we go. I needed this, not black. So we're going to add this to this. Just like that. Oops, I think it slid a little bit. There we go. Then we're going to add this to the front of the black panel. See if I can rub some glue all over it. <laughs> I just said glue kind of ooze out the bottom here. Hang on while I wipe that on my pants. No, I've got a baby wipe out. Usually it goes on my pants. And then based on this and this, well, hang on, let me get this on here. Oh my gosh, these colors are just so vibrant. I love them. I love the big kind of print. Okay, now I wasn't sure which one of the strips I wanted to put on my Whisper White here. So we're going to just take a look at that. Do I want to go with this one? Or do I want to do this one? I don't know. I think I want to carry this. This will this will help bring the front together, maybe. We'll see. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back of this piece. This is way longer than I needed. It was just a scrap that I grabbed. So we're just going to trim that off. Oops. And that's what these scraps are great for, just to decorate up the insides of your cards. This is a great card to send to a neighbor. You don't have to write much. There's not a lot of space to write in it, so you don't have to try to fill up a hole inside. Then we're gonna do this. Two inch circle punch on our starburst. Who does not own this combination? Two inch and the starburst. Cause like I use this more often than probably any of my punches. I love this combination. And then again, we've got glue going on the left side of the back. I want to leave a little bit of the designer paper over here sticking out because that really helps make that pop. And then I couldn't decide if I wanted to use a Mango Melody dandelion or if I wanted to go with the black one. And I'm thinking the black really pops. What do you guys think? Should we do the black? or the Mango Melody. Hang on, I'm watching for your comments. Kimberly says she needs the two inch, two inch circle. Bonnie does not own them. Kim needs the Starburst. Lois doesn't own them. Yeah, you guys, these two punches are the ones that I grab the most. They're easy and they're quick. And while dyes are wonderful, dyes are time consuming. I love punches because they're quick and easy. 
All right, let me see what you guys said. Black, black, black. Everybody's saying black, and I completely agree with you on the black. We definitely, I definitely like the black best too. Then I'm going to put, oops, hang on, a little bit of glue on here. Pull that back off. Oh my gosh, I love this. And like I said, this was just an idea in my head. And I'm like, oh, I bet you this would work great. Two beautiful cards. Took me hardly any time to probably 20 minutes to make both of these. They're so simple. You could take a pack of this designer series paper and use all of it and crank out a ton of cards with this layout and really impress your friends and family. Like it's a cool, cool card, right? Now, don't forget, this is the Sweet Silhouettes die and I've got my catalog open here. This is part of the Sea of Silhouette Suite. You can see there's some gorgeous samples in here that Stampin' Up! has made for us. I love this. I love silhouettes anyways. You can order the whole suite here. It's $92. You get all the items shown on this page. Or here's the stamp set that coordinates with the paper. And there's some great sentiments in here. I just didn't feel like you inspire me if you have any... Um, essential workers in your life or you'd like to send cards to your mailmen, um, grocery store people, you know, all the essential workers, you inspire me. That's a nice one. But I really, I really wanted something that I could send to anybody wishing you a bright, wishing you brighter days to come. I thought was really appropriate. You know what else would be fun? Let's do this. Let's add, let's see what a little wink of Stella would look like. Let's just add a, oh my gosh, a little Wink of Stella. I would do this before you glue this in here. <laughs> I just looked at my Wink of Stella and thought, ooh, how pretty would my dandelion look if I put some Wink on it? And that is spectacular. Yeah, so pretty. Okay, let's try it on this one. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's showing up. I just put it in the middle on the yellow one, the daffodil. That looks really pretty. Adds a little bit of bling. Oh, you know what? As long as we're doing that, let's see what else I have here. I can add some more bling. Oh my goodness, the ideas are just coming in strong. We have these. These are the Holiday Basic Rhinestone Jewels. I think I'll just put one there. And one here. And maybe one right there. That looks pretty. Wow. <laughs> we could keep going here, right? And here's some blue ones. These are always really pretty on navy blue, too. What do you guys think? Was it worth it? I like that a lot. I don't like where I place these. Hang on, let me get that. I want to move this one. Yep. I use that spatula end. Everybody asks me, what is that end for? It's for anything you need it for. There, I like that better. I don't know why. I'm, I'm weird about stuff like that. Look at that! Black rhinestones would look good on here. Clear rhinestones would look good. I highly recommend the next time you put an order in, add some holiday basic or holiday rhinestone basic jewels. These are still in the store. Just do a search for them. I love having these different colors at my fingertips, and I know that I can make clear rhinestones any color I want with the Stampin' Blends, but these are just handy and they're really vibrant colors. I like that. So see a silhouette designer series paper starburst punch two inch circle punch holiday rhinestone basic jewels and so you won't be skimpy with your paper order two packs of this then you won't feel like you have to be a cheapskate with it and i don't mean that in a bad way i mean that you will actually feel comfortable using it i've had so many people Tell me that since I've said that, buy two packs. Then you won't feel like you have to be chintzy with it. So many people have told me they've been doing that. And they feel so much better about using the paper. And I know it's a, it's a mind game we play with each other, right? But it's true. Like, I don't want to use this up in case I'm going to see the perfect card that I want to make. And then the, the pattern that I want is going to be gone. I won't have enough. Buy two packs. You won't have to worry about it. It's, a, it's kind of a freeing feeling, really. 
I'm going to flip you back around here. Here you come. I don't like talking to the back of your head. I like to see your comments. Oh, we're way behind up here. Hang on. Let me get scrolled up. Oh, there my comments just went right away. <laughs> what is the stamp set with the sentiment? It's called Beautiful, whoops, it's backwards. I know, Beautiful You. And the item code is 143637. Let's see if I can hold that far enough away from myself, right? <clears throat> Hang on, I've got some weird stuff popping up on my screen that I don't want. Come on, go away. Ooh, my screen is kind of locked, you guys. I can't see your comments. Huh. Oh, there it is. Oh, 